Hi Capricorn, welcome to your bonus read for the week. I'm going to be taking a look at the person on your mind and their true intentions for you. I'm going to start your reading off with the love oracle messages and look at the situation between the two of you. Then I'm going to jump into the tarot section of your reading and look at their true intentions for you. I will be closing your reading off with the hidden truth oracle deck and pulling some messages from this person of what they're holding back from telling you. Now this is general. It may not resonate for everyone. If it does, go ahead and hit that like button if you haven't already subscribe to my channel so you never miss an upcoming read now with that being said we're going to go ahead and jump right in please remember that time is fluid so this could be something that happened in your past currently in your present or coming up in your future all right show me the situation between capricorn and the person on their mind So we have liquid courage in reverse, travel and between the lines. Oops. So bravery, confidence, intoxicated, odd behavior. Maybe somebody doesn't drink. Uh, but I'm seeing this more as somebody not having the, the confidence or bravery to go the distance um, or go on a getaway or something like that. The other person's not reading between the lines, maybe not picking up that one person's not really into it the other way the other one is. Uh, let's go ahead and see what's going on. It could be because of legal matters as well. And something about liquid courage being in reverse where somebody doesn't drink has to do with legal matters. And so maybe they cannot also travel that far due to legal matters pay attention if this is um them and not you capricorn just pay attention to that um but let's go ahead and look at this person's true intentions for you So we have the Knight of Cups in reverse. We have the Four of Pentacles and the Chariot, as well as the King of Cups at the bottom of the deck. This person does not have the courage to open up and share their feelings. There's something about them being nervous to do so or feeling like overly whelmed with emotion, um, with investing that when they try to, it just comes out the wrong way. But I do see that they would be there for you. Their true intentions are to be there for you, do anything that you want them to do. Um, you know, like, oh, I have so much love for, you know, Capricorn, but I'm just seeing them not take that leadership. It's more of a want, um, it might start off more so that they like shy, you know, with that Knight of Cups in reverse or just not opening up. Um, they also might not be much of a romantic as well, but like having a lot of love, they would do anything for anybody that they have love for, but they're not like a, a romantic. So if you're looking for that, you um, more than likely will not get that from this person um, on that kind of level like, oh, they did this and that and the other and surprised me. It was so wonderful. They're just not that kind of person. But I do have um, Cancer Scorpio Pisces energy as well as your energy um, here, Capricorn. Let's go ahead and clarify that Knight of Cups in reverse. We do have the Six of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. So not sharing their feelings because there's something about like they did in the past or, you know, they want to, but... Um, they did in the past and maybe it didn't work out the way that they had hoped. They don't have that kind of bravery to just approach you in that way and, and tell you like, I really want a relationship with you. They want to share their feelings. They just can't. And they're overly emotional about sharing their feelings because they really want a commitment with you. They really want things to work out with you. Um, but not doing anything about it here. So I'm, I'm hoping that this changes, transitions. Let's see what happens. 
I do have Scorpio and uh, Virgo energy that comes out. Let's go ahead and clarify the Four of Pentacles. Page of Swords in reverse, like wanting to invest but not saying anything about it. You know, that Page of Swords is like not learning how to invest um, because they've been either too independent on their own for quite some time or something of that. They might even have to save up. If this is about traveling to come and see you, Capricorn, they have to save up. They don't know how to tell you because it's not good news, um, but this person has to save up money in order to come and see you. They don't just have money to just, you know, up and, and leave to go and see you. Um, so there's that as well. That just, there's all kinds of messages coming out for you. I do have Aquarius, Libra, and um, Gemini energy that come out as well as more Virgo energy. So let's go ahead and clarify the chariot. Wow, that was quick. And we have the King of Swords that comes out as well as the Nine of Cups here. You know, it's like this person wants to invest but doesn't know how to tell you and it doesn't come out the right way and they're, they just don't know how to. Their stubbornness comes from like, I guess, being alone or being independent for so long and when they take things, matters in their own hands and they are like, all right, I know what I want, I'm going to go after it. They have a plan. Uh, but it comes off like, hey, how's it going? And, you know, the the nine of cups is, is love, but it's not like I'm in love with you. It's like love surrounding you. Um, so it's not the same as love directed only to you. And it tells me that this person is just like, they start to think things through that I just can't. I can't tell Capricorn I want to I just don't know how to share my feelings I don't know how to tell them so let's go ahead and um get some messages from this person Um, yeah, I'm getting like a materialism kind of vibe of this person feeling a little embarrassed that they don't have the means to, to travel with you or travel to come see you or something. So like, why try? It's, they don't have to lie, but they, in, they end up lying to you about like, yeah, well, that sounds great. We should do that next weekend, but they can't. Um, so I couldn't let you get close to me. It's like they don't want you to see who they really are. And plus, they're very vulnerable. And I feel like they haven't healed from something from their past that still bothers them. They're still triggered by it. And so they don't let people get close to them. Um, they're just very sensitive to that. You and I were too young. That is something that comes out here where maybe they're holding on to not telling you this, but wanting to tell you like... Maybe I should just let go. Like, we're just too young. This is too premature. We don't know what's going to happen. And we should just, I, I don't want, it's almost like they don't want you to waste your life on them um, if they're not ready, you know, which is very nice that they're considering your feelings, but um, they really do need to tell you. So I left you before you could leave me. Mm, okay. If they may get quick decision to leave you before you leave them or make a decision to leave them um it's like they always have to be the one I don't want to say in the right but they have to be the one to be like I came up with this first I initiated this first okay that's just the way they see like law and order. And I regret lying to you. Um, that's something that they don't like doing. They end up lying to you about something like that they wanted to come see you, but they couldn't come see you. There's something about money being an issue here. Um, and feeling too embarrassed to tell you about their financial situation or, or that they don't have the money to do all these things or to come and be with you, hang out with you, something like that. Um, or even lying to you. If they told you like, I, I really do like you 
and then they pulled away, it's because they're not healed from their past and they regret, they feel like they lied to you about it. They did like you, Capricorn. They just are not healed from that. And there's a lot of things that this person needs to um, really grab by the reins and take direction over, you know, in their life. And there's some things that they, you know, these are things that they have to do on their own first. But um, this is what I have for you. If it resonates, go ahead and hit that like button. I will see you in your next reading coming up. Have a good rest of your day. Bye.